In this video, we will see clearly about contactor. What is contactor? How it works? What is the difference between contactor and relay? This is all we are going to know in this video. First, let's see what contactor is. Contactor a device that connects and cuts an electrical circuit. Normally, we use a contactor to switch on and switch off an electrical equipment. Why contactor should be used? What happens if you connect the motor directly to the power supply without a contactor? That way you can connect directly. But connecting directly like that is not safe. Because we use contactor only for safety reason. If a motor is connected directly to the breaker without a contactor, it is necessary to directly operate the breaker to turn the motor on and off through which the high current goes. If electricity leaks in the breaker due to equipment fault, it becomes life threatening. In AC, the signal is sent to the outdoor unit through the PCB in the indoor unit. High voltage power cannot be directly supplied to the compressor from the PCB. To avoid such safety issues, we use contactor. Now, let's see how contactor works. Contactor has low voltage coil. When 24 volt power is supplied to this coil, the coil energizes and an electromagnetic field is generated in the coil. By this magnetic field, when the terminal in it is attracted and connected, the power supply will start to flow through it. When it is de-energized, the electromagnetic field will be cut and the terminal will come to the original position through spring force and the power supply will be cut. Now, let's connect a motor to a power supply through the contactor. A 24 volt power supply can be connected to the contactor coil through a switch. Now, when the switch is turned on, the 24 volt power supply goes to the coil of the contactor. So the coil is energized and an electromagnetic field is generated. With the help of this magnetic field, the terminal closes and the power supply flows. Now the motor starts running. As we operate only 24 volt power supply in the switch, it is very safe for users. This is why contactor is called a safety device. Similarly, AC unit also gives power supply to outdoor unit through contactor. When the room temperature is high, the PCB in the indoor unit sends a 24 volt power supply signal to the contactor. Through this, contactor energizers and power supply flows. Compressor and fan motor start running. After the room temperature reaches the set point, the indoor unit will cut off the 24 volt power supply. Then, contactor terminal will come to normal position and outdoor unit will be cut off. This is how the contactor works. Now we can see the differences between contactor and relay. Both do the same job, but we use contactor in high voltage equipment and we use relay in low voltage equipment. Contactors are used in high voltage equipment like motors and compressors. Relays are used in low voltage equipment like car wiper and headlights. This is the difference between the contactor and relay. In the next video, we can know about the wiring diagram of the contactor. In that video, we can know about normally open type contactor and normally close type contactor. Thank you.